This is sports editor of the Miami Hurricane, Justin Antoine. I'm joined by sophomore sensation, Duran Scott. Duran, how you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Duran, how excited are you for basketball season? It's right around the corner. I know you're very excited. You worked hard this off season. Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely excited. I um, just can't wait. It's just right around the corner for me. I just want to go out there and just, uh, just prove everybody the, how great of a team that we actually are than people think. You, you went to CP, CP3's uh, skills camp this summer. How was that? Yeah, it was a great experience. Not only uh, just being out there with NBA guys, but just uh, just having experience to to learn from players such as Chris Paul and Seth Curry, and I'm saying just picking up key moves from a couple of these college guys and things like that. So for the most part, it was a great experience. What did you work on most this off season? You 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 personally? Um, I wouldn't say I put a main focus on anything. I put a main focus on my game, which is uh, ball handling, shooting, passing, anything you can think of. Uh, because there, there's never you're never perfect in anything in the game, but uh. As far as people say, uh, I need to work on my jump shot, and uh, for the most part, I think that that took a, another another step up. So I'm just waiting to see if I can actually do it in the game. Tell me your mindset last year. You were a little bit more reserved in the beginning of the year, then you finally kind of took the range of this team towards the end of the season. You expect to have the range of this team this year too? Yeah, definitely. Knowing that I'm, uh, I'm a little bit more comfortable um, around these guys, I got a year in with them, a year of experience in with them. So uh, I just can't wait to go out there and just see what happens this year. Tell me one player in this Hurricanes team that, that that could open up some eyes for some Hurricanes fans that maybe nobody, not many people know about. Um, I would, I'll say my two freshmen, though, who I love dearly, uh, Ryan Brown and uh, Eric Swoop, and uh, definitely uh, also uh, Raphael too. Just how how hard he works and how uh, the intensity he brings into the game. So those freshmen, they're gonna show a lot this year. What is it about the freshmen that stands out right now? I don't know, but uh, everybody keep asking me that, and I I think they just. I think they, I think they're doing better now than I did last year, and um, and if if, if so, and I, and I did pretty good, so I think they're gonna do even better than I did. So, but uh, just as how athletic they are, uh, how well Ryan can shoot, how strong Eric is, how hard Raphael works, those, those just keep the components of their game that just show they're gonna have a spurt this year. Let's talk about some of the other guards in this Hurricanes men's squad. How about Malcolm Grant? I mean, he lost a lot of weight this off season. You think he's gonna be more determined this year? Yeah, definitely. Um, his he's already focused. I could you could just tell it when he come out here every day, ready to practice. When you're ready to stretch, matter of fact. So, you can just tell he he just can't wait. He's just urgent for the season to start. And um, I'm just hoping for him to have a great season too. How about Gary Adams? I mean, he's a pretty good spot up shooter from the wing. Do you expect him to be a you know a hot spot toward, toward at the three point arc? Yeah, definitely. Not not only that, but um. Uh, since practice, since last season was over, uh, he's been working on the ball handling, been handling the ball a lot more, um, playing in between one and two. So, and I think I like him better at that position. He's just, he's just a smooth player. I, 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 he just reminds me of Tracy McGrady, and um, I just want to see if you go out there and just play him, except without the injury. How about DQJ? I mean, DQJ kind of struggled to find his niche a little bit last year, but found it towards the end of last season. Um, how, how vital is DQJ to this team? I'm talking about Daquan Jones. Well, he know how important he is to our team, so. You know the things he has to do. He has to go out there and just uh, rebound for us, play defense, um, be physical with the guys. And then, although if it's offensive end, he knows exactly where he gets to drive the ball, get um, score inside the paint, get get some highlight dunks. You know what I'm saying, and um, and to just play his game. And um, he's going to be a great, tremendous uh, aspect to our team this year. Let's go through a hypo hypothetical situation right now. Canes are down by one, 10 seconds left, uh, clock's winding down. Who's taking that game-winning shot? Uh, whoever's hot. Whoever's had that's a good answer. Or whoever's open as well. Uh, how about how about the big guys too? Let's talk about Julian Gamble, a veteran leader on this team. He's a little bit nicked up right now with the lower extremity injury, but but how's Jules? How's Jules' leadership? Um, it's, it's great. Um, like you said, as he as he's a little banged up now, even when he's on the sideline, he's always cheering us on. Um, one time I, I was feeling down about myself in practice, pulled me to the side and just kind of cheered me up. So that just showed the uh, the, the 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 heart he has and the, the focus he has of trying to. Um, to win this year and um, how much he, he loves his players. So his leadership is tremendous to his team. Coach Haith has been known to redshirt big guys. Donovan Kirk had a redshirt last year. How, 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 what can fans expect from D. Kirk this year? Yeah, a lot. I can't, I can't wait till he get on the court. Um, just, uh, just, just watching my heart. He works the, the, the inside, outside moves he has, how he improves his jump shot. I just, I just can't wait for him to go out there and, just, and actually just show everybody else how, how great of a player he is. Durant, fans might find this hard to believe, but Reggie Johnson shot 10% better than you from the free throw line last year. Uh, how, how good of his Reggie, how good of a soft touch does he have? 
<laughs> Great. Uh, let's talk about the, how bad of a touch I have. <laughs> but um, uh, I just like I said, I want to go out there and work on uh, work on my free throw shoot. I want to be able to become a, a better free throw shooter as as Reg is, and um, I commend him on that for him um, be able to work so hard and just focus on his three point shooting every day at practice, get some shots up, and um, probably his, his free throw percentage might raise this year. How often would you say you're, you're studying film? I mean, other ACC teams are studying your own film, or just coming into the open gym j just for fun with some student managers? Well. From high school, I never really had a, a, lot, a lot of uh, film activities, stuff like that, for, uh, upon another, another team. So coming in this year, it was kind of new to me. But um, but uh, with Coach Hafe, he shows a lot of film, um, not even just upon other team, but just us in practice and what we're doing wrong, what we need to work on, and things like that, which is I think helps our game too. How about the out-of-conference out schedule this year, Duran? It's much tougher than it was last year. I mean, you, right off the bat, you've got Memphis at midnight, Ole Miss, West Virginia, Rutgers, a Big East squad. This is going to be, be some tough competition before ACC play. Yeah, I'm just itching. These are the type of games I can't wait to play. So I'm just itching to get out there and just and just get these wins. I just can't wait. I'm just just so excited. Like, there's just no worries for those type of games. But um, uh, the main focus is just going out there and just win. <laughs> Me having a bad game or a good game, the more important is just getting that win. You averaged 23 points per game in the three games against Duke twice and UNC. What is it about playing the best brings out the best in D. Scott? I don't know. Uh, I think I just get excited when I'm playing against those teams. But for the most part, just growing up, um, as far the only thing I knew about the ACC was North Carolina and Duke. So once I got my chance to just go up against them, I just wanted to give them all. Duran, best of luck this year from one New York native to another. Stay healthy. Let's go, right. Canes. And let's hopefully make that NCAA tournament. That was Duran Scott, sophomore sensation. This is Sports Center of the Miami Hurricane, Justin Antwell.